easily use the counter element to bring in dynamic data and you know where to get the counter element. I have one here on my page, which I've already set up running from zero and then going up and you can use your counter for whatever purpose you need be. To bring in the dynamic data, first we have to create that field within our asset. I'll go to my CMS. The asset I've created here is reviews and click on configure. Then scroll to the bottom. And as we are working with numbers, we will select the number option here. We work with two numbers, a start number and an end number. You can decide if you need the start number to be dynamic. In this case, I'll just say yes. So I'll click on it, click on the number, go to the settings, change it to counter start. And that's it. And then I'll do another number and I'll call this counter end. And very important to save and finish. Let's go to our asset reviews. I'll click here on Avengers Infinity War and then I'll go to the bottom. I'll have a counter start of 500,000 and then a counter end of 1,100,000 and then update. Because I'm working with a global block that brings in this dynamic content for each and every asset that I'm creating for this specific reviews. I want to go and edit the builder. So I go into edit. And here where I have my counter, which is still manual, I will now select the dynamic data, go to counter start and next one counter. Where is it? Counter end. It still counts the previous value I set in. Let's update this and go view it on the front end. And no mess, no fuss, we get 1,100,000. A great way to use the counter to bring in your dynamic data. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to YouTube. And if you want to learn more about blogging in Brizzy Cloud, check out the playlist in the description below that takes you to the crash course from parts one to three.